Hey, what's up? This is Santosh Shetty here from the Internet Abundance Podcast. And in today's podcast, you're going to learn about the seven key areas in your business that you can automate. You might be running an online business part time, or you might be running it full time. But there will be a point in your life when um, you will be facing a burnout. You no, know, not because uh, there is your business is uh, you know uh, causing you problems. It is more. about the tasks that you are involved in there will be tasks which you'll be doing repetitively every single day which is uh, taking a lot of your time and you're not able to invest your time into growing your business so you might be somebody like that or you might be someone who is looking to scale your business but you're not able to do it because you are stuck with your time consuming uh, tasks of creating content marketing sales all of those things or you might be a working professional who does not have uh, uh, much time because your full time uh, job takes takes up a lot of your time in a day and you just have maybe a couple of hours in a day and maybe few hours during weekend to uh, grow your uh, part time business so what happens is if you are not able to address this issue it can suck your time and money it can suck the life out of you you know it can juice you out completely So what you'll have to do is you'll have to automate certain aspects of your business. So we will talk about the seven key areas in your business that you can automate. All right, before we begin the episode, a small request: if you are here for the first time, don't forget to follow the Internet Abundance Podcast for more content like this. And if you value, if you got value out of this podcast, make sure you hit that like, share it with your friends, share it with somebody who would. Uh, find this a valuable as well okay i'll really really appreciate that okay so that's about it let's get to the episode uh seven key areas in your business you can automate so the first thing is going to be customer support so you don't want to spend too much time on uh, you know customer support you can this can be simplified all you have to do is use a virtual assistant you know you can hire a virtual assistant online nowadays just go to google and uh, look for virtual assistant they he or she can be anywhere in the world and they'll be able to take care of this uh, customer support task uh you can also use chatbots there are many uh, softwares out there which can help you with this uh, one of them is called many chats that i know of and another one is uh, your facebook messenger chat you can also automate that so that it can help you with customer support common questions can be answered and if there is anything critical that can be taken care by your virtual assistant if it is something that cannot be managed by a virtual assistant only then it must come to you all right so that is one second thing is marketing and sales this is something you'll be spending a lot of time in so you can cut down your time on this you can save a lot of time how you can do that is for there are these are the five things that you can you know automate uh, when it comes to marketing and sales uh, social media you can use a platform like publer there are many softwares out there i suggest you use publer because of the user interface and the simplicity of uh, using it okay so all my uh, uh, posts apart from facebook and instagram is uh, i use publer uh and for instagram and facebook i use uh, meta business suite okay it's a free tool you can use it even publer is uh, free to use uh, they also have if you want to add multiple social media accounts and stuff like that then they have uh, uh paid plans as well so it's up to you okay and uh, whatever automation tool that i suggest or whatever links that i suggest all th- all those links will be in the description so don't worry about it if you want to use any of these just go to the scroll down below go to the description and uh, you'll find the link over there all right that is social media email uh email marketing software this is a must have when you're building a business online uh it can take care of email automations like auto responders and stuff it's the same thing almost so automation and stuff broadcasting emails so you can send uh uh one mail to like you know like thousands and thousands of people whoever is there in the email list so broadcasting can be done and also uh you can have email sequences we call that as auto responders email sequences where people these all these emails are automated and sent on specific days so for example uh if you sign up let's say you sign up to my uh, webinar what can happen is you will start getting mails every single day for the next 5 to 6 days and these seven uh, mails will have 
value based information of what webinar is about and also some uh, good stuff that you can learn from right so this can be automated i don't have to keep sending creating and sending mails every single day so this is something that you can do automate it so you can save a lot of your time and money on this all right and uh, to make sure they don't end up in spam you got to use a good reliable email marketing software so my suggestion would be mailerlite i have used get response i have used convertkit i have used aweber but mailerlite is uh, something i have been using for a while now but i have i have noticed something with mailerlite more than 90% of my mail you know hits the inbox okay so they have also they had also done some research on it and uh, uh, mailerlite you know ended up going to the inbox more than most of the email automating software out there all right so that is why i use mailerlite and i highly recommend you use it as well the link is in the description uh designing outsource it see i teach uncomplicated designing to my community so uh it's about creating sim uh, designs quickly and on demand but however if you don't have the time to do that as well because even uncomplicated designing might take 5 minutes to 10 minutes of your time depending on what you're trying to do uh way less than uh, you know any other complex design software out there like photoshop affinity design and all of that it will take way less time because uncomplicated designing is about using simple tools to create stunning uh, graphics and designs all right uh if you don't have the time outsource it outsource it to a graphic designer you will find lot of freelance website out there like fiverr.com 99designs and uh, freelancer.com so you can outsource you can outsource landing page designs and you can outsource your website design and maintenance ideally find someone who can do all these three things you'll be able to find okay and let he or she uh, manage it or you can do it yourself if you learn how to do these three things i teach that in my uh, community all right so outsource it if you cannot this can this itself uh can save you a lot of time but also be aware because it is a high value task it can also cost you on month to month basis if you want to save on this then you know um uh, you can learn uncomplicated designing okay so design next is content distribution another place where you spend a lot of uh, time and money on so if you want to save on that hire a virtual assistant who will be able to create content manage your content respond to comments to your content publish your content in uh, different places online and uh, help you with seo and stuff with simple tasks but time consuming tasks you can hire a virtual assistant to do that or you can outsource it to somebody uh, by going to any of these freelance website ideally one virtual assistant who can do most of this uh, monday and repetitive uh, jobs okay you just have to show them how to do it once or twice and then they'll be able to do it so find someone who's trainable easily trainable then uh, whatsapp automation you don't want to just keep sending whatsapp messages every day to all your uh customers or your leads or prospects there is a tool for automation there are many tools out there what i suggest is uh, wati so you can uh, use that okay so this is the uh, marketing and sales the third thing is analytics very very big you need to analyze what's happening in your business if you don't do it then you will be wasting a lot of your money let this be managed by your virtual assistant tell them what are the things to look at and let them give you updates on it on a regular basis so analyzing your data outsource it and uh, these are the two major things that you'll have to analyze one is your traffic data one is your finance data the other things as well but these two is something that you can automate okay uh fourth one is finance don't if you are not good in uh, finance don't break your head with it there are many um, you know agencies and stuff like that even people you know who are finance experts who can help you out with this so find them locally or you can also find uh, find them in one of these uh, freelance websites what you need to outsource is taxes uh, invoicing and quotations again let your virtual assistant handle all all of these uh, with let them talk to the finance uh, a person and uh, deal with all these things okay some of these things can be done by your virtual assistant 
some of them it's better you speak to a, a financial advisor okay they won't be expensive you may have to just give them your incoming expense incoming um, revenue and uh, your outgoing expenses and they'll do the rest okay once or uh, once a month i think in india it is like that you just give them data once a month they'll take care of it fifth one is legal things uh, get a legal advisor who can outsource it okay you can do it yourself you by checking things online but i suggest that you outsource uh, uh one is for your website for all the legal uh, pages on your website like your terms and conditions refund policies disclaimers privacy policy these things you can also find these things online but ideally uh, when you're doing it for the first time just get it done through a legal advisor it will be useful it's a one time thing okay for the site even the business uh, highly get it done through a legal advisor whatever depending on uh, which country or in make sure you abide by the laws and your business and products are not breaking any laws and are legal okay so that is one sixth sixth thing is uh, market research another time consuming task which can be handled by your virtual assistant so outsource it and number 7 is managing and troubleshooting issues this can be very hectic there will be problems you will come across no matter how great the automation tool is or how great your software is there might be a day where suddenly it stops working okay these things can be managed by your virtual assistant don't break your head on this let someone else uh, do it for you okay now these are the seven uh, key areas that you can automate and this is must have okay to make this happen one is you got to have monthly budget for these uh, three things okay if you are uh, if you are running this part time or if you are even doing it full time looking to scale fix a monthly budget for all your automation tools and even uh, the salary that you are going to pay for your a uh, virtual assistant you can also give them task based performance based uh, amounts and stuff it's up to you how you want to work that out with the virtual assistant so whatever bu- budget th- that is it has to be done for these three things one is automation tools uh i suggest Z- uh, zapier and pably pretty good which can connect different automation tools and it can save you a lot of time and it can simplify uh, things for you okay there there is a little bit of learning curve however it is not very complicated it's easy once you sign into it it's like self explanatory some of the stuff uh next is virtual assistant low cost freelancers you can uh, also hire locally all they need is laptop and an internet only advantage locally is you'll be able to see them meet them and give them instructions by meeting them once a month okay and what they can do for you is they can also check your emails and respond to common questions when you're building an online business lot of people will start sending you mails asking questions and stuff so you don't want to be just responding to every single uh, question there right so hire somebody give them answers to most of the question if there is anything critical uh, then let the virtual assistant inform you managing social media posting and responding to comments although uh, there is publer which is an automated tool you can give this tool to your virtual assistant and let them manage it let them respond to comments and uh, uh, post and stuff like that you don't have to do it any boring admin work virtual assistant can take care of it customer support like i said reminders and appointment schedules if you are if you do one on one calls or you speak to your customers on phone then uh, you know your virtual assistant can help you with this any job which is repetitive and can can be handled by your virtual assistant just give it to them so just one maybe two person depending on your budget okay chatbots uh many chats is one another one is your uh, facebook messenger chat you can use this facebook messenger chat is free many chat there is a subscription all right so fix a monthly budget for this if you want to uh automate these seven key areas in your business all right that's about it seven key areas but a lot to uh, talk about i hope you got a lot of value from this podcast if you did 
make sure you hit the like button and uh, don't forget to follow my podcast in um, the any of the popular music platforms i'm available in apple podcast spotify amazon music audible most of the platforms out there so you can follow me in any of these platforms and uh, listen to the internet abundance podcast every week and all my podcast is around uh, building an online business so if you are somebody who is looking to build an online business part time or full time then i highly recommend that you follow the internet abundance podcast it's going to help you all right and if you are somebody who is looking uh, to build this business to achieve freedom and abundance then i am your man i do a, f- a webinar uh, every week and uh, the link will be in the description so go ahead and register to that webinar and meet me live and i'll uh, show you the three secrets of building an internet abundance business which can give you freedom and abundance my friend okay so let's meet live and uh, that's about it for today as far as this podcast goes i hope you loved the episode uh, don't forget to like once again okay i'll really appreciate it this is santosh at here thank you so much for listening to this podcast have a wonderful day